So now let's see how we can make an interactive gallery by using the object states inside of Adobe Captivate. So to make an interactive gallery, first of all, I'm going to bring in some images. So I'm just going to go around to image right over here and then I'm going to go to image right over here and then open this out over here. So you can see that I have an image right over here. So let me just resize this out right over here from the side. So let me just resize it out, hold shift so that it does not lose its uh, aspect ratio. So you can see right over here that I got an image and what I can do with an image is work with its state. So you can see that there's object state right over here. So I'm just going to go to state view right over here. This is the same as working with buttons, but you can use this for interactive gallery as well. So you can see that this is the first state as you can see. So I can add in a new state right over here, just below it as you can see. So you can rename it according to what you want as well. You can rename the state into something like one right over here as well. And I can see that I'm just going to say state one right over here and press OK. You can see that you can rename that out as well. So I'm just going to go around here into image and I'm going to go to image right here. I'm going to bring in this over here. So let me just resize this out right over here and then keep it round on to the side just like that as you can see and keep it just above uh, the, uh, the other image right over here. Let me just go around to the um, let me just go around and delete out the other um, other picture. So let me just send this to back and delete out the front picture right over here. So you can see that I got the second state. So I'm just going to go around and add in a new state again. This is going to be state two right over here. And I'm going to add in another image over here. So I'm just going to go around to image and then bring in this one. Let's say for example, let's resize this out and just uh, Keep it right above it, just like that. Okay, rain send to back and delete the front layer right over here. Just, just, just like that, you can see that I got three states for these pictures. So what I want to do is I want to exit state now and I want to add in buttons which relates on to these states right over here. I'm just going to go around here uh, and bring in, let's say I'm going to bring in the button shape right over here. And I'm going to convert this into a button. So I'm just going to go and say use as button. So I'm just going to double click and add in one. So this is going to be the first state that um, you can see right here. I'm going to add in number two right over here. So this will open up the second picture. And then I'm going to copy and paste around and bring in the third shape right over here. So just like that, I'll have a third shape over here as well. So you can see that these three shapes are there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first shape right over here and then I'm going to go to actions and then you can see that it says on success go to the next slide. So I can just go over here and then go around here and then I'm going to change the state off so you can see that this option is there right at the bottom. So I'm just going to click on change state off and you can see that MS3 appears. So MS3 is the only one as you can see right over here because this is MS3 right over here. So you can change the state of MS3 to normal. So this is going to be the normal state. For this one, it's going to be uh, change the state of. This is going to be MS3 to state one. And this is going to be the state three. So um, that is the state two. So I'm just going to go around here on to change the state of MS3. This is going to be state two. So this is state one and normal state as you can see right over here. So now let's do a preview and let's see how it actually looks like. So I'm going to go to preview the project right over here. And once I preview the project, you'll have an interactive gallery ready. So you can do this uh, with as many number of pictures as you want. So you can see that if I were to click number one, this is one itself. Number two, it goes over here. Number three, it goes to the other picture. And you can click on this as many times as you like. And you can see that you get the other pictures just like that over here and you get a very interactive gallery just like that. So that is how you can make up an interactive gallery by using states inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.